Hey, don't worry. This is not another junk bike modification or bitch. I'm just moving the bike out of the way. I have not forgot about the FJ Cruiser. It's February 1st-ish, and I'm already making reservations for camping spots. There's a modification on here that I've been wanting to do. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So normally when I go camping, I got my cooler right here so I can get my stuff out in the back, most accessible, and it stays there, it's heavy, and it's anchored and tied down, so when I'm bumping over shit or taking steep inclines or declines, this isn't moving around. But for the longest time, I've wanted a uh, table back here. Expensive, American-made, overlanding stuff is just so outrageously expensive, and it's not worth it. What does Fester do? I watch YouTube videos and I poach other people's ideas and I make them better. That's what I do. I've got an idea for a smallish table that's going to mount right here. But my deal is I need a table for a shelf for just small items temporarily. Or if I want to make a sandwich real quick while my cooler's here, I can leave my cooler open and get my stuff out and make a sandwich here and then close this all up. Take my sandwich and go eat it. Let me show you my idea for a shelf back here. Let's get inside where it's warmer and I can show you what I'm gonna do. I bet, <laughs> I bet you're like me and you thought New Year's Eve when it turned 21 that we'd be done with 2020 and things would be all good again. Well, guess what? 21 is gonna be another year of 2020. It's gonna take till the end of the year before this COVID shit is beyond us, if we can even get it done in another 12 months. Fuck it all. So anyways, off my soapbox as usual. Look at this. This is a black cutting board. The links will be in the description. Do not ask, you know better. Links are always in the description. This is 18 inches wide by 12 inches tall. I have already pre-drilled a couple of holes in here. And the reason for that I'm thinking is when I'm either eating here or prepping things or messing around on my shelf, I got a place where I can set my tools or my knives or a screwdriver, a socket with a 10 millimeter in here without it losing or falling off or whatever. Odds are I'll probably never use those, anything other more than to stick my finger in to pull the shelf down and to push it back up. But I've already installed a piano hinge on here. This is a 12 inch piano hinge from Home Cheapo. I wanna say it cost me about six, maybe $8. I can't remember, but it's ready to go. So this is going to mount on the tailgate like that and hinge up like this and come down. This whole thing cannot rattle. Nothing on here can or will be rattling. There will be no noises coming from this after the install. So that's the idea. I hear the doorbell, ding dong. That's my last item that I'm waiting for to mount this. Let's go back out to the garage and get this thing installed. Well, unfortunately that wasn't UPS, it was LDS. All right, Gorilla Tape, heavy duty, holds up to 30 pounds. That's if you use all 60 inches of it. And I'm only using six inches of it. And here it is, very easy. Just stick it on one side of the hinge. It's gonna mount on the FJ door. It's 12 inches long by half inch thick. That's why I'm saying this is only six inches of this Gorilla Tape. All right, man, it's finished. It's complete. A couple of re-engineering things like any mod that's totally custom went through, but there we are. The cutting board, securely mounted, no rattling, no chains, no cables. Check this out. I call this my anchor because when you secure this down 
This go this will go nowhere is under any condition that you're driving in. I replaced the first magnet with this new one. I'll leave a link to it. As always in the description, it's got a hole in the middle. So I screwed this on there. I'm not taking chance of this being pulled off. The plate right here, stainless steel plate. The silicone glue did not stay, or the silicone sealant did not stick. Super glue gave right away. It didn't even come close to sticking. I'm using the Gorilla Tape on here now. It's good, it's strong. And then check this out. Now, here. I got, I got a good strong magnet up here. But another thing, hey, check this out. I mean, you can put these magnets anywhere, under your desk, under your dash, <laughs> under your ceiling, under your bed. That's just one of these magnets and that holds it good. Look at that. The link to the description will be there. Is that not awesome? Okay, so here is one screw Another Phillips screw there, one Phillips screw there, and a hole in there. You gotta pull the cover off, drill a hole, shove the 550 cord through there. What I did, because I just, you know, reinforced everything, the 550 for cord goes through a flat washer, and then it's got a nice strong knot on the other side. So that flat washer will help to keep this soft plastic from a hole being burned through with the uh, cord. And then I just measured this, leveled this out, tied a knot on there, and I got a little bit of slack. But when you're ready to hit the trail or hit the road and you're not using this, use this to lock it up. You got a nice strong 550 cord. Doesn't have to be anything fancy on the knots. Trucker's hitch. And then it's strong. And of course, the test. What happens when you slam the door? That was a good slam. And look, nothing. There's no room for it to go anywhere because of this rope and the magnet holds it. So you're good to go. And this is nice, this is so sweet. And those magnets. Man, I'm gonna stick guns everywhere. All right, man, that's it. See ya.